The parlor account has the handle Rhode Island GOP and looks identical to the official Twitter account for the state's Republican Party. Now, the head of the party claims it's a fake account and tells me she plans to contact law enforcement about it. Before the social media platform Parler was booted from mostly all web services, an account was created under the Rhode Island Republican Party name. I'm disturbed that somebody would take our platform and speak on behalf of the party. This is the Twitter account for the Rhode Island GOP, and on the right is the Parler account. They have the same profile photo, banner photo, and handle. The state's Republican Party says they are reaching out to Parler to report the account. For now, the party's chair says she's not jumping to any conclusions. I have absolutely no idea who it is, so I'm not accusing anybody yet, but we will investigate. The account perpetuated false claims about voter fraud in the presidential election. The conservative-leaning platform has been blocked from Amazon and Google Web Services, among others. Parler's CEO defended the platform. They're doing it. Um, you know, to stifle free speech and competition in the marketplace. And this could happen to literally anybody. The website has been criticized for encouraging violence and helping demonstrators organize the deadly riot at the U.S. Capitol. As for Sienke, she says she told members of the Republican Party to report the account and not to follow it. What's your message to them if they're watching this? Stop. Just stop. Now with Parler down, the posts are currently unavailable, but researchers say they were able to collect information before it was shut down, which might help show in the future who was behind the account. I'm Anita Buffoni, 12 News.